Good afternoon, everyone. I have an update on the docket, and I also have a email that I just received from a concerned citizen from the resident of North Harwood Avenue, who has informed me that uh, Sharon Tracy Gale Bay went to a residence that had uh, defaulted on a loan and hand-delivered lien paperwork to the new owner. It was said that she demanded to know their names and information. Uh, they were told that uh, they refused, and she did end up leaving. Others on the street advised the new neighbor to call the police, and the incident and paperwork were given to the Upper Darby Police Report, or to the police uh, department, rather. Uh, so this is from a resident of the North Harwood of North Harwood Avenue, which is where the original property was that they removed Sharon Tracy Gale Bay and her consort, uh, Mr. Pitts, out of. All right, with regards to the new docket, here we go. The docket has been sent back, set back to be active again, you can see right here. Um, also, it does show that the uh, bench warrant hearing is completed and the changes on the docket are as follows. There is a set bail modification for $100,000 and uh, we have all uh, the charges that are set on here, but there is a spot on here that shows that uh, it's not final. So there are not additional things added from the uh, disappearance of Sharon when she was supposed to be in court from what I have been able to determine as of yet. Um, let's see. We have uh, there's no new changes on the uh, entries it doesn't look like at this point. Oh yes. Um, so new bail set at $100,000. And, of course, the bail forfeiture directly above that from the previous, you can see. But from today, there is a line here, line three, that a new bail was set at $100,000. And that is all that I have in terms of an update for you guys. Um, just wanted to make sure that you were all aware of the uh, new docket changes. And we'll keep an eye on it.